Ever lost hours of progress in Unreal because of a crash or overwritten file? It is painful, and it happens way too often. In this video, I'll show you how to protect your projects with source control, so you never have to start over again. So what is source control? Also known as revision control or version control, source control is the management of changes to computer files over time. Here, we will keep track of versions of files as they are changed. This process can be formal or informal, and there is a lot of software that will help us formalize the process. Why should we use source control? Well, a lot of reasons, like checkpoints in a game, it will let us recover previous versions of any file in our project. Not only that, but it also improves collaboration in your team. It will be easier to share and distribute work, improve scalability, and merge all the changes into a working copy. Last but not least, it's also more convenient. Using a source control tool will give you a better performance while managing your files. And, it will give you control over how secure you want your data to be. Now, let me show you how it works. Let's say we have a team of three developers and one place where they will store their files. We will call this place a depot and it can either be a local or a cloud server. First, a file is created locally. Then, the developer adds the file to the depot. Next, the developer will continue to work locally. And when they are done, the file will be submitted, creating a version. After the file is uploaded, the team can update their local copy. Once this is done, another developer can modify the same file. This should mean that the file is checked out and locked. After the file is modified and saved locally, it can be submitted and versioned. When the upload finishes, the team can update their local copies again. And the lead will be happy, because we're all on the same page. Now that you know how source control works, I wanted to give you different options that you can use with Unreal Engine. First, we have Git, which is very popular because it's a free and open source solution. Works great for code and text-based files, and it has tons of tutorials because it's widely adopted in the developer community. The main pain point is that it struggles with large binary files like blueprints, textures, and assets. Also, it can get messy with conflicts, especially if you're new. And on the same topic, setup with Git LFS can feel overwhelming for beginners. And if you're going to be working with a real engine, then you probably want to do this setup. Next is Perforce. It's the industry standard in AAA studios, and it's what the Epic Games developers use. So you can expect a strong integration with Unreal Engine out of the box. It's built for handling huge projects with lots of assets. This means that the setup can be complicated, especially the server management and permissions. Also, it can be a bit of overkill for solo devs or small teams and it can get very expensive if your team has more than five members and if you don't self-host your server. The next option is Subversion, which can be a nice middle point. It has a simple centralized workflow, it's good for small teams who just want something straightforward, and direct Unreal integration still exists. I'm saying still because it's older tech, it has less community support compared to Git or Perforce. Also, is not as flexible when scaling to larger projects, and it lacks the modern tooling and ecosystem developers expect today. So what if you want something simple, indie-friendly, and build just for Unreal? That's exactly where today's sponsor, Diversion, comes in, which has a plugin made specifically for Unreal developers that takes the headache out of source control. The setup is refreshingly simple. It just works with both your code and your assets. And one of my favorite features is that it gives you merge warnings before you run into those dreaded binary conflicts. If you ever had two teammates work on the same file without knowing, and then you're tasked with choosing which one to toss, you know how painful that can be. So it's great that we can avoid that. Diversion also comes with a dedicated Unreal Engine plugin, so you don't need to wrestle with complicated configs. And the best part 
they've got a generous free tier plus Indian student pricing. So you don't have to empty your wallet just to keep your project safe. On top of that, there is an active Discord community where you can get support and share tips with other developers. So if you want to keep your progress safe and avoid losing hours of work, check out Diversion. You can find the link in the description. Big thanks to Diversion for supporting the channel and helping us keep making Unreal tutorials for you. And if you want to improve your game development skills, make sure to check out our on-demand courses for free. You can watch them and get high quality free education. And if you're a serious game developer, make sure to check out our UNF game development program, where you will create a game from scratch and publish it on Steam. So whether you go with Git, Perforce, SVN or Diversion, the important thing is set up source control today. It's the difference between losing hours of progress and being able to roll back like nothing ever happened. Protect your work, save your sanity and keep building. If this video helped you dodge disaster, hit like and subscribe. It's your safe point for this channel. By the way, I know we've all had those nightmare moments in Unreal. Share your biggest Unreal horror story in the comments. Misery loves company and I'd love to see what chaos you have survived. And if you want even more, join the channel membership for extra perks and hop into our Discord. We've got a great dev community waiting for you. I'll see you in the next one.